Hey guys, Foreman here, and in today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to set up Sonoran CAD for Malibu Sunset RP. If you guys have followed the channel for a while, you'll know that I've made previous videos uh, regarding Sonoran CAD and how to get set up with those for other communities. But I'm redoing it for Sonoran CAD, uh, especially for those who have may not have used Sonoran CAD in the past, as Malibu Sunset RP is a really large server, and a lot of people that will this for a lot of people malibu sunset rp will probably have been their first ever uh, role play server uh so yeah so after you've logged in assuming you have logged in if you haven't already logged in do that now you can either do it through discord or through your sonoran cat account um but once you're logged in you're going to be met with this screen assuming you've never joined a sonoran cat community before now, as you can see, I have, I don't know why it's showing Paul Mile Network, that is an old server that I used to be part of a really long time ago, but uh, that's beside the point. To join a community is really simple. All you do is hit join community and a little pop-up will pop up. This is where you put your community ID. Now, the community ID for Malibu is all lowercase Malibu. So if you search that, there it is right there, Malibu Sunset RP. You click join. And there you go, you're in the community. Now, right away, you're gonna notice you do not have access to the civilian side of things. In order to get access, you're gonna have to use the permission key of civilian if it doesn't automatically appear for you. Uh, apparently, it has already appeared for me, but I'm just gonna show you what it is. So, so there's the permission key, case sensitive, capital C. And then, Permission key applied civilian, hit enter. So there we go. So now that you've applied the permission key, your next step is to click on the civilian tab. Now, as you can see here, you are not going to have any characters created. How do you fix that? Well, click on new character and this field will pop up. Now, it may look daunting at first with all the fields that you can, um, that you can fill out, but only fill out the ones that are most important to you. So in order for me to... To do that, I'm going to need to access the Malibu RP CAD for my character data, which I'm doing off to screen off to my right. Log in. I probably should have had this set up before making this video. So characters. I'm going to basically, well, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to be copying over my character information from the Malibu RP CAD, the custom CAD that they have there. So obviously, first name is going to be Jason, because I'm bringing over Jason Steele. Now you'll notice... Everything is in all caps. That is not the fault of your, so that is not you having caps lock on. Everything in this software is going to be in, in all capital letters. So don't worry about that. Um, date of birth for Jason is June 18th, 1995. So we'll go six slash 18 slash 1995. And then his age, what would that make him? Would that make him? I think that would make him 27? Yes. I'll put, I'll put 27. I can fix that later. Sex, he's male, aka residence. I'm going to put 4013 East Joshua. Or no, it's, it's just Joshua Road. Uh, zip code. Uh, I'll put 4013. Uh, occupation. LASD. Sheriff. And then height. I did not put a height. So for all of this, for like height, weight, all that stuff, this is all set for you. So Jason here will be about six foot. Weight will be about 150, which will be on the lighter side of all that. Skin tone, white, hair color. Will be black. Eye color. I'll set him as blue because that's what it is. Relationship. Single. So the the main forms that are going to be optional while you're setting up your character is basically like the relationship, your contact number, um, your uh, former or known aliases, emergency contact. That's also optional. But the main parts here: first name, last name, date of birth age, your sex, whether you're male or female, residence, uh, zip code, height, weight, skin tone, hair color, eye color. Those are all 
things that I would say you should add while you're setting things up. Occupation is completely optional, I would say. Though I'm pretty sure for the purpose of the roleplay, you'd want to have your occupation in there just in case you get pulled over by the police. Um, so yeah, that's all you do. You hit add character, and there you go. Your character is now created. So now that you've created your character, there's a couple other things we actually need to do. Um, one of these things is we need to get our licenses sorted out. And in order to do that, we go to the DMV, and we can set a license up. So the DMV status is pending. Um, the status here, that's self-explanatory, you have to set how to valid. Now the type of license. This is dependent on what you're going to do, whether that be a driver's license, a weapons license, or a hunting license. For this example, I'm going to show you how to set up your driver's license. Now, expiration date, I'm not sure how, if Malibu staff is going to regulate this, but what I've done in previous committees is I've set this to quite a few years into the future. It's like October. I'll set this to expire on October 1st of 2030, so my license will be valid for eight years. This is not entirely realistic. I don't know if they're going to regulate this. Um, and that's pretty much all, all you have to do for that. All you do, apply for DMV record, and that will be shown on your record as a valid license. Same situation if you would like to go to v your license information. Uh, you set that to valid. If you want to do a weapons license, same thing. Go to status valid, set it to weapon. Expiration date, same thing. Uh, I'm just going to do the same thing here. Set that as October 1st. And then apply for DMV record. One thing I'm not going to go through in this specific video is how you register vehicles. But I am going to give you a sneak preview of how you do, how you do the reg vehicle registration. It's a little bit more involved, but it's pretty easy. Basically, same, same two fields up here. The status, whether that be valid, pending, expired, suspended, or stolen and the expiration date on the license for the vehicle. Um, vehicle information. You can search up for, you can set up your vehicle here. So vehicle type, whether that be a sedan, coupe, SUV, truck, off-road, marine, motorcycle, aircraft. Uh, th those are all the, of the options that you have available to you within the CAD system. Um, as for the license plate vehicle, that is obviously self-explanatory. The plate of the vehicle that you're registering. Uh, the make, the model, the color, in the model year, that's all self-explanatory. So say, for example, you're registering a Ford F450 that is a 2020 model year that is also blue. You would fill all that out in these respective fields here, and then you would hit apply for DMV record, just like everything else. So that is a run through of how you set up the Sonoran CAD system. If you have any further questions, be sure to leave me a comment down below, or you can ping me at Discord. I am 3Charlie68JSteel. Or you can also contact Malibu RP staff. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully this video helped you out. And I will see you in the next one.